All right, so right now I'm going to show you how you can connect the information in Clay with your CRM if it is not currently supported uh, as one of our built-in integrations. Uh, and with Zapier, it makes it pretty easy to do so. So um, first things first, I've got this information right here. I want to import it into my CRM. Unfortunately, right now, uh, I am using a CRM that is not currently supported. There's a long growing list that we are continuing to add to this um, every day. But in the meantime, I'm going to use Zapier to do this. So I'm going to use this um, API integration. And essentially what I want to do is I want to take the data that's in Clay, I want to push it to Zapier, and then I want Zapier to then connect to my CRM and pull the data into my CRM. So opening up Zapier really quick. For the trigger, I'm going to do a webhook. And for the event, I'm going to say catch hook. So basically it's going to wait until uh, somewhere else pushes the data to Zapier, right? I could skip through this and what's gonna happen is it's gonna give me this link right here. And so then I'll take that link, I'll go back into Clay and in Clay, the method is post, right? I want to essentially post slash push this information out. The endpoint is going to be that URL that I just copied from Zapier right here. And then in the body, I'm going to type this in really quick and then show you the formatting. All right, so I've input the body in here and the body is basically just what is the information I want to pass over. For the email, uh, I've set that equal to the value of the email column. For the name, I've set that equal to the value of the name column. I could do the same thing with LinkedIn profile, profile if I also wanted that in there. Um, but then I'm simply just going to save these changes, run this integration, and I'm looking for that 200 to let me know that it went okay. And if it does not work, you know, I get this little error message. Oftentimes it's because you just need to set this rate limit. It doesn't really matter for me right now. It says it just must be an average of five seconds. So I'm just going to put in five milliseconds. Uh, one second. uh, now I can run this and 200, awesome. If we go into Zapier, say test trigger, did it pick anything up? Amazing, so it found that push right there, that post. So now um, choose your CRM, right? Zapier connects to 5,000 plus tools. It's highly likely that your CRM is supported by Zapier right now. Um, but in this case, just to show you, I'm just gonna use Sugar, Sugar CRM. And the event, I'm going to create a record. And then once I go into, once I've connected my account and I've set it all up, all I have to do is map the information uh, that came from Zapier. So the rest of this is pretty simple, but just wanted to show you um, if it's not, if your CRM is not currently supported directly in Clay, you can get it connected in you know 30 seconds to a minute, minutes, two minutes, whatever that might be. Thanks.